Here we go. This is just the neighborhood around the house that we're looking at. These houses in Freeland go for about, oh, several hundreds of thousands of dollars, as you can see. This is the neighborhood. This is right behind our house. Um, not our house, you know what I'm saying. The house we're looking at. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Anyway, so this is the subdivision. Um, I'm just going to scan just so you can get a general idea of the houses. There are, is a lot of, uh, there are a lot of recent developments around here. So we don't want to pay three, four hundred thousand for a house or even two hundred thousand for a house. Not that we couldn't, but we don't want to. So then here is, you can see there are some country roads. It feels like country. More huge houses, some more cute, modest houses, a little bit of everything, this is big guy but really consistently nice. And then there's this, oh, that's a pretty one. Hi, Ed. Oh. Well, I'm going to turn the corner here. That's turning the corner. No traffic. The awesome okay. And this is the street that we're looking at. There's this house on the corner, which I don't think you can, yeah, you can see it. It's pretty nice. And lots of different houses along the way. Now, this is the subdivision right behind the house that they're just finishing building. There's a couple of empty lots, and then there's one that they're just finishing up, as you can see. This is across the street. Sorry to scan so fast, but as you can see, a pretty nice neighborhood. Lots of trees, lots of everything, and then here we are coming up to the farmhouse. Good time. As you can see, it's a beautiful old place, new siding, new roof, new windows, two and a half car garage, huge backyard, um, just gorgeous open kitchen, full bath up, full bath down basically across the street from nothing and nobody next door to nothing and nobody farms and then yet here you are coming into town more nice houses as you can see um, very nice houses and this is a subdivision as you can see all also new I don't know if it's the same one or different ones, but oh, yeah. the way the sun is heading, I don't think you can see it very well. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll just go back then this way. Um, there's a little group of people taking a walk. Strollers. Strollers. I think there are a lot of families in this neighborhood. It's just more... Uh, no, they're beautiful, just like tons of tree-lined streets, and then there's these new, newer houses, which are a lot more expensive, and that one's sold just now. And as you can see, just a new development. It's a lovely day, by the way. There's a lot of these suburbs, too. Yes. And hopefully, before the battery dies, we will get to civilization. Anyway, downtown is like less than a few minutes from here. Got some more houses down that street. Check this house out. Check this house out. Pretty nice. Also pretty nice. Also pretty darn nice. It's a good area to be in. It's a good area. Like double the median income of any city. Good resale value. Ed and I just went to backhand each other because he told me to speak up and I. My backhand met a backhand. You could hear it fine because the other day it was really windy and my recording was perfect. But hey. Anyway, we digress. Yeah, shut up. These are some weird looking uh, nut hatch drive. That tells you what you need to know. Nut hatch drive. Alright, I'm turning off this camera right now. 
Okay, this is just the um, route to show you where this house is from town. And we just spotted this little Mercedes um, vintage car that you might want to cruise around Michigan in. I know I do. Anyway, this is M47? Yes. M47, which is a main road between, like, um, Saginaw. Saginaw and Midland, and goes through Freeland. And as you know, Freeland is sort of centrally located to Saginaw, Midland, and Bay where, City. It's where MBS Airport is. It's where MBS Airport is, and it's where we ate at Antonio's and that other place. I think we ate at Riverside Family Restaurant once. So this is just... Um, some banks, some credit unions, the car wash, the detail service center. Ooh, complete auto detail. These are just some of the houses um, on this road, which is a pretty main drag. And then, as you can see, this is just a main drag. Here's um, some other kind of realty. Oh, realty. And, uh, businesses. You've got McDonald's coming up. Oh, there's some doctor's office. And McDonald's and Burt Watson used cars and the Chevrolet dealership. Um, okay, here's like one of the main shopping centers around here. It's Pat's Food Center. It's hardware, garden, electrical, little Union, um, a drugstore, and here's a little sports club coming up. And then you've got, I'm not going to go to the other side of the street while well, I'm going to try out Pan. It's just like gas stations and florist shops and storage and houses and all sorts of stuff. And then here you are, there's like another pizza place and a little, um, oh yeah, the log cabin bar and grill here, but then there's like a deli and a spa and um, all different things, insurance places, blah, blah, blah. Gas station. Now, we make a right here yeah. at Freeland Road. Yeah. Right down there is the river. MBS is... Airport's one mile that way. Yeah, if you went straight down this road, you would be at MBS Airport. Um, but this is just the road. Um, you're going to make a left off of this road onto Webster in a few minutes, or maybe even less. But just again, a church, because I know everybody likes to worship in my family. Another church. Uh, let's see, funeral home. We need that. A house I've always liked over here in town. And these are just the houses in town. It's a cute little town, as you can see. We have the walleye festival here. Right? Oh yeah, the walleye festival for Good anyone rummage. who likes walleye. Good rummage sales. We missed them this year doing research. But this is basically it. A few little bungalows. And then the daycare center. And here are the tracks. And of course, the house we're looking at is on the other side of the tracks. <laughs> and the grain elevator, because every town needs a grain elevator to bring your grains to. But we don't have any grains, I don't think. Turn left at the white. Yeah, there's some auto places here and stuff, but this is your left. This is Webster Road, as you can see and give you an idea of how close you are to town. There's these houses. There's some cute little houses here and down this road. Civilization. High school. There's Freeland High School. Very exciting. It's actually a very nice school. Here are some houses across the street from the high school. Another church. And yeah, another church, Baptist. That's my favorite. Yeah. And then here is coming back to this side of the road because here's the, the high school. Field. Yeah, the baseball field, the track in case uh, we want to run, which we do all the time. Pretty much. And here is your field, the farm field over here. 
or just pan across to your other neighbors. And we're about to come up on the house. Um, farms across the street, farms down the road. Then this is your one close neighbor next door. And then here is the house. Garage. The garage is open, and there it is. And there you can see the yard is beautiful, and it goes all the way back. And that's how long it takes. And then here is this new div subdivision that they're building this last house in, and it's gorgeous. So as you can see, that should give you an idea. And this is the way back to Bay City. 15 minutes. See you later. Adios.